Good day, everyone listening, everyone watching. I have my friend here with me again. Oh, it's so nice to be with you. What are you doing today? I'm trying to memorize all my schoolwork. You know, it's very difficult to be in the school because you've got to learn so many things. Well, House Mouse, I've got good news for you. God has given each one of us a beautiful brain. Uh, well, what's that? Will it bite me? <laughs> no, this is the size of the human brain. Oh, it looks more like an avocado pear to me. Yes, if you put your two fists together, that's about the size of your brain. Uh, what do I do with my brain? Well, the brain controls just about your whole body and all the organs, but also all the systems of your body is actually controlled by the brain, especially the nervous system. Yeah, yeah, I'm very nervous before, before the exams. I mean, everything that comes from the nerves from your body. And, and, and do I have a brain? Well, you must have a brain or else you would not have been able to talk. Uh, uh, and how can I get clever? Well, I have a great secret for you. God's name is omniscient. What? God is omniscient. That means he knows everything. He remembers everything. He understands everything. Yeah, that's wonderful. So, so when I have a difficulty to remember something, can I ask him? <laughs> yeah, the Bible says in James 1 verse 5, if we don't have enough wisdom, then I can ask him. Yes, you can ask him and he will give you wisdom. Just like with a man called Daniel. The Daniel from the Bible. Yes, Daniel was a very clever man. And maybe he was good in mathematics. Yes, in mathematics, in science, in everything. And he worked for the king. Yes, he worked for King Nebuchadnezzar. And then the king had a dream, a very bad dream. Oh, and, and what happened then? The king said to the wise man, that is Daniel and all his friends, please help me to explain this dream. Uh, and then Daniel just guessed what the dream meant. <laughs> no, Daniel went to God because the king said, I'm not going to tell you the dream. That's unfair. He must asleep. He must at least have told them the dream. Well, he thought he was not going to give them the dream. He's going to tell them to explain the dream without knowing what he dreamed. Uh, and, and did God know what he dreamed? Yes, God knew what King Nebuchadnezzar dreamed. And when Daniel prayed and fasted, what happened then? Then God gave him the dream and he gave them the explanation of the dream because God is all wise, he's omniscient. Oh, that's wonderful. And, and then Daniel was very glad. Yes, and the king was glad. And all the people that were supposed to die, they just kept on living because God is so good. And the king promised if they don't give him the dream, he might just as well have killed them. Oh, I can't explain dreams, but maybe I can ask God to help me with my mathematics. Yes, and with my history, all those dates, I can't remember everything. Yes, we can ask God that he will teach us how to have a lot of knowledge, but also some understanding of how to live. Isn't that a nice song? Yes, there's a song about God that's an almighty, awesome God. Can I sing it? Yes. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power and love. Our God is an awesome God. House Mouse, that's exactly the song that I sung just now. And I'm so glad that we can worship an omniscient God, a God who knows everything and God who understands everything, remembers everything and helping his children also to have wisdom. Yippee, that's good news. And, and I hope we can learn more about who God is next week. Are you coming? Yes, I'll definitely be here. You must ask those people. I think if you like and subscribe our channel, then next week you will get the first notice of this new video. What are we going to talk about? Huh? I'm not going to tell you. We're going to talk about who God is and all his wonderful attributes. Oh, that's lovely. From my side, bye-bye. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Until next week.